Purdy, now! Now, where's that damn dirty ape? I come to you as darkness falls. Dr. Fate? Dinah Lance, Oliver Queen. In the past, I have shielded you from danger, but a grave crisis looms. And I do not know if I can stop it. You mean Grodd and company? We've got that covered. Grodd is the pawn of a much greater master. A new order is coming. I have foreseen it. Leave with me now, while I can still save you. If that's the case, we're staying here. Batman will need our help. Everyone and everything you know will die. I will shepherd you to safety, lest you suffer the same fate. By force, if necessary. The good doctor's been wearing that helm for too long. Then let's help him out of it. Watch my back. He should not have returned to Batman. You are not fated to fight his battle. Well, like a good friend once told me. Screw fate. <laughs> I'm not abandoning Batman. <clears throat> Kent, you okay? Your headgear really had you going. I lost control of Nabu, the spirit of the helm. Thanks to you, I'm back in charge, for now. I have to go consult my masters. The Lords of Order. Pray they'll intervene before it's too late. Too late for what, Kent? What's going down? The Lord's magic bars me from saying more. I have changed fate too many times. This planet's destiny is no longer clear. What comes next? Mere mortals cannot stop. For better or worse, your fate rests in the gods' hands. That was... spooky. Yeah. Come on, let's find Grodd and get the hell out of here. You've overstayed your welcome. We're happy to check out, but you're coming with us. Fighting a talking ape wasn't enough. Had to throw in telekinesis. Give us a song to soothe these savage beasts. Ah, uh, I forgot to bring my banana arrow. Wait, you eat bananas, right? Or is that an offensive stereotype? You ignorant fool!
Just be glad I'm not Dinah. I need a license. I was just trying to be PC. Surprise that worked. Let's call it a day and get Harley out of here. <laughs> it's never good when you slap the cuffs on and then they start chuckling. Humans. <laughs> you've won this battle, but you've already lost the war. Got nothing. Your victory over Gorilla Grodd warrants further study. Green skin. Smart money's on alien. A uh, Martian? Like John John's? My point of origin was a thousand light years removed from Mars on the planet Kolu. I am Brainiac. Resistance begets violence. Then we won't resist. Please, just stop! You're the grave crisis we were warned about. What do you want? I seek the one you call Superman. For years, I believed I had destroyed Krypton and all its remnants. Superman's survival is an oversight. I must correct. Superman's no friend of ours. I am aware. But your planet has also piqued my interest. Its many contradictions are fascinating. We'll never serve you. Serve? I am no petty despot. I collect worlds, preserving their essential knowledge to enhance my intellect. And then I discard the remnants. Why? Your species values precious metals, arbitrary symbols of status. I value knowledge. And like your metal trinkets, knowledge is more valuable 
when it is rare. Brother I, give me an update on the team at Gorilla City. I cannot do that, Bruce Wayne of Earth. Why not? Because I am not Brother I. I am Brainiac. You cannot regain control. Over the past days, Brother I has been absorbed into my neural network. It is now an extension of my mind. You, a fragile human, captured and imprisoned a fully developed male Kryptonian. Maybe I'm not so fragile. To prevail, you harnessed advanced sciences, nanotechnology, satellite communications, interdimensional transits. I am taking these tools from you. Why? The Kryptonian belongs to me. And soon, so will your planet. Metropolis. Gotham, Beijing, Moscow. So many cities. All at once. It's him. Who, Carl? Who is it? We need to get Cal. Now! You're wearing the suit. Am I in trouble again? Brainiac, what can you tell me? How do you know that name? You're afraid of him. He's invading. He says you belong to him. Brainiac killed my parents. He blew up Krypton. You never mentioned that before. How do I beat him? You can't. Not without me. I'll find a way. This is my fight, Bruce! You need me! Bruce! Bruce! Bruce!
Need a hand, Dr. Randall? I don't know, Barry. Sat links out. Internet and phone are down. Maybe this old ham can help us. You fitting in okay? People treating you well? Let's just say people here aren't thrilled to live in close quarters with the Flash. Convicted regime criminal. Pardoned regime criminal. Give it time. They'll come around. LW base. Are you there? LW base. How fast can you get to Metropolis? My pardon agreement was pretty clear on no powers. You think that matters when aliens are invading? You helped tear down the regime, Barry. That's why Mr. Wayne asked me to take you on. And if Batman thinks you earned a second chance, who are you to argue? has returned to action. The task force is ready. I'll enjoy this. When Superman went nuts and you went right along with him. Punish me later. We have to help these innocent people. The same innocent people who cheered Superman when he executed my friends? My sister? I'm sorry, Cold. But you never hurt civilians. You're better than that. Once upon a time, I was.
losing momentum? Guess we both let each other down. I was hoping you was Bruce's mole. For all the good it did. Grodd never trusted me enough to share the whole alien invasion plan. We gotta help Dinah and Ollie. We will. First, we need to get back to Gotham. If there's anything left of it. Retirement will do that to you. <laughs> What's with you, Lawton? You should be fighting this invasion. Got no choice. Grod put a nano explosive in my head. His paws on the trigger. <laughs> <laughs> Like it or not, I gotta do Grunt's dirty work. 